Hey everybody, how's it going? So we have some really cool concept art for both Rodan and Mothra from director Michael Dowdery of Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now for Rodan, the first one we're going to start off with is some really interesting concept art seemingly of him when he was awakening from his hibernation inside the volcano in Mexico. And this version of Rodan is drastically different than the version we got in the final cut of the film. You can just tell by the beak to the general head area, he has these huge back spikes as well. His wings are a little bit different. So definitely, I would like to say a more terrifying look at Rodan, not so much a more unified look. And what I mean by unified is that I thought the final version of Rodan we got with the suspension of disbelief you have in the MonsterVerse, but it also made sense because a lot of these super species are basically oversized versions of other animals, but with a little bit of characteristics here and there physically and I guess personality wise like Godzilla and Rodan both have this. But there's a little bit of, you know, similar cousin species kind of added on there. So like Rodin has more of the beak of an eagle, but of course like the body of a pterodactyl and, you know, things like that. But going to the other concept art as well, we get a really cool look at Rodin still kind of covered in the flames and stuff like that. Flying towards Ghidorah who he's going to fight just like in the final cut in the movie. Also, we get another look more like the final cut of the film of Rodan standing on top of the volcano before he's basically about to just wreck everything around him with his wings. And this actually gives him a really good look at just how big his wings are. We knew his wingspan was already really huge before watching the movie from what they were releasing. This just gives a really great kind of scaling, so to speak, with, you know, the church next to him, him on top of the volcano in general, things like that. And then the final piece of Rodan concept art is actually something we've seen before. I think it was revealed at a Comic Con event before the movie came out, before the first trailer came out. It was like this art alongside of similar ones for Mothra and other creatures. Now getting onto the Mothra specific artwork, the first one we're going to show is just Mothra as a whole, just looking gorgeous, of course. I think Mothra was personally my kind of underdog. I didn't really expect to go into the movie really rooting for Mothra, but leaving the movie, I ended up being a huge Mothra fan. So all things considered, just beautiful artwork all around. Another one showing Mothra. Also, you know, with a little bit of the blue with the god rays and stuff like that in, I think, China. I would like to say this is where the art's supposed to be taking place just due to where Mothra is supposed to be residing at. But Mothra's on top of a temple, which is definitely in the character. Another one with Mothra seemingly in the cocoon before she emerges in her full kind of adult form, no longer a larva. And then, of course, the last one is just Mothra in Boston during that final battle. And I really like this one because it really shows the scale of Mothra. And I really think in this concept art, they actually made her bigger than she was in the final cut of the film. Just because I knew Mothra was big in the film, obviously just like the other monsters, but I don't remember Mothra being this big where she was basically like one leg on a different building if she were to walk around Boston. Leave your thoughts down below. What do you guys think about this? Were you a huge Mothra or Rodan fan when coming out of the movie or going into it? Leave your thoughts down below and we'll see you guys later.